Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived her life with a lot of fear and pain. When she was 18 years old, she met her first love, a handsome, kind goose. One day, the goose says, I have heard from a model that there is a place on the other side of the ocean and the people who find it do not suffer from fear and pain. I want to take you there. The girl says, I want to find this place on the other side of the ocean and live happily and be free to dream. The river says, You must find this place yourself in seven days. Go find it. I will wait for you here, the goose says to the girl. On the first day, the girl meets a cougar at 19th Street and 1st Avenue. The cougar asks, Why are you here? The girl says, I'm looking for a place where I can be free of fear and pain. Do you know where that is? I don't, but I can share my courage with you. If you are lost or feel afraid, cougars like myself understand courage. The cougar continues, Cougars, like myself, have lived in Saskatchewan 
Although, like many predator and big game species, there are fewer now following settlement of the prairies. Our presence is a symbol of truly wild and healthy ecosystems, as we are among the most evasive and secretive of all wildlife species. As a cougar, I am the spirit which crosses over from the abundant wilds and opens the way for your presence here today. The cougar smiles and says to the girl, Humans have almost forgotten their connection to wildness, but courage will help you to remember. Second day, the girl meets a musician made of metal at 20th Street and Avenue B. Come dance. This is a city with melodies of history, great harmonies. I've listened carefully to the music of the earliest indigenous peoples inhabiting the Saskatoon region approximately 11,000 years ago. Archaeologists showed that following the last glacier, and for the next 5,000 years, these early societies were encountering each other as they developed their hunting skills for large creatures such as bison and shared their cultures. This went on for thousands of years. Indigenous First Nations cultures that we know of today are based upon the circle of life, developing relationships widely and striving together for well-being. I can hear these circles as a beautiful harmony which we will find in the ways that our cultures develop and communicate. The First Nations circle has a center as the creator, followed by eight circles, earth elements, sky elements, plants and growing things, all creatures such as animals, fish, birds and humans, the ages of life and the balance of harmony of life, wholesome feelings like love and honesty, and the flow of the seasons in the four directions. The city of Saskatoon was founded by Christian settlers who arrived in 1883 at Moose Jaw from Ontario by railway, and they took the horse-drawn cart to the final site of what is now called Saskatoon. The name Saskatoon is derived from a Cree word, Misaskawatomia, for the locally abundant Saskatoon Bay. The Saskatchewan Railway reached Saskatoon in 1890, crossing the South Saskatchewan River in 1901. Saskatoon's population was 113, and in 1906, when Saskatoon, Nutana, and Riversdale formed the city of Saskatoon, the population had grown to include 4,500 people. Nowadays, residents of Saskatoon are called Saskatonians. We are the largest city in the province with an estimated population of close to 300,000. Like other parts of Canada, Saskatoon is an immigration city and the provincial government welcomes new immigration from all over the world. The city of Saskatoon is vibrant and harmonious and I give you this song to sing. This song will bring warmth to your heart whenever you feel alone. The third day, the girl meets a book in front of a library. She feels tired and falls asleep and dreams. Happiness is here and now. I have dropped my worries. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. No longer. is here and now I have dropped my worries somewhere to go something to do but not in a hurry
We are the three visionary stones of contemplative practices, silence, stillness, and reflection. Together, we practice observation and deep consideration. Often, these practices include concentrating the mind or attention on a specific object, but sometimes the activity itself is the focus. Some practices may be aspects of a religious practice, but many are not. Ways of practicing include meditation, centering prayer, yoga, tai chi, dance, and labyrinths. Other practices may include vision quests, sweat lodges, religious or cultural ceremonies or rituals, storytelling, journaling, qigong, martial arts, music, art, mandalas, singing, and chanting. The silence of the forest, the river, the breath, the questions of life's origins and its inevitable end in the cycle of all living beings. These are some of the similar themes that arise in all meditation, centering prayer, and quiet contemplation. This is how you can find the place without fear and pain. Saskatoon is home to many indigenous groups, including First Nations and Metis, with cultural practices that could be considered contemplative, such as sweat lodges, sun dances, and the pipe ceremony. Indigenous cultural practices are considered an integral part of an entire lifestyle, not as a separate aspect of one's life. There have been many religious and faith groups contributing to our communities, while the past 50 years have shown a rise in specific types of contemplative practice and groups to consider joining. A meditation group was started in the 1970s by members of the University of Saskatchewan's Department of Religious Studies. The Free Range Buddhists, as they called themselves, sat quietly together in the spirit of Zen Buddhism. The Saskatoon Insight Meditation Society and the Prairie Insight Meditation Community were formed in the 1990s. Insight Meditation, known as Vipassana, comes from the Theravadan Buddhist tradition of Southeast Asia and Sri Lanka. Insight Meditation focuses on silent meditation practice and emphasizes loving-kindness meditation, a formal practice to cultivate kindness and compassion. The Saskatoon community of mindful living follows the mindfulness tradition of Thich Nhat Hanh, a Vietnamese Zen monk. The tradition focuses on mindfulness as the means to peace and happiness, bringing it to all daily activities. The format is silent sitting and silent walking meditation. The Religious Society of Friends, also known as the Quakers, formed a local group in the 1960s. Quakers are Christian who believe there is that which is God in each of us, as a spirit or light within each person. The group sits in silence, but if a member feels moved to speak or even sing, they will do so. Another practice is holding someone in the light, wishing them the greatest good or clarity. St. Thomas More College started a centering prayer group several years ago. The purpose of centering prayer, or CP, is to empty oneself of words and thoughts and just be in the presence of God. Queen's House of Retreats has a CP group, and there is also one at St. John's Cathedral, meeting just before Sunday morning mass service. Tai Chi has been described as moving meditation. The practitioner focuses on the movement and lets the mind empty itself. Yoga comes from the Hindu tradition and also focuses on postures with brief meditation at the beginning and end of sessions. Both Tai Chi and yoga have been practiced in and around Saskatoon for many years. The methods of bringing together body and mind, all happening within the city of Saskatoon, are as many as the expressions on our faces, the ways we smile, our unique styles of communicating what is in our hearts. It takes only a moment to feel the completeness within ourselves 
to let go of the stories about fear and confusion, to breathe in the new breath, to breathe out again. The sixth day, the girl meets an ancestor soaring, who tells the girl to come back and sit with him the next day. Soaring gives the girl instructions on how to sit comfortably in silence for 15 minutes. During the meditation, the girl finds her place without fear and pain. May the sound of this bell penetrate deep into the cosmos. Even in the darkest spots, living beings are able to hear it clearly, so that all suffering in them cease, understanding come to their heart, and they transcend the path of sorrow and death. The universal Dharma door is already open. The sound of the rising tide is heard clearly. The miracle happens. A beautiful child appears in the heart of a lotus flower. One single drop of this compassionate water is enough to bring back the refreshing spring to our mountains and rivers.
listening to the bell, I feel the afflictions in me begin to be solved. My mind calm, my body relaxed. A smile is born on my lips. Following the sound of the bell, my breath brings me back to the safe island of mindfulness. In the garden of my heart, the flowers of peace bloom beautifully. Thank you, Sari, and all the placemakers. The girl returns back to the river, where she meets a goose. Goose, my love, the place without fear and pain is here, right here, in everyone's heart. They fly and soar into the clouds together. In honor of the many facets and possibilities of creative expression, the placemaker program is developed by the city of Saskatoon, and its mandate is to add significance to civic spaces, to engage with audiences, and to promote an appreciation for contemporary art practices through temporary public art. Public art is artwork that has been planned and presented in the public domain in any media that is visible and accessible to all. Since 1921, public art has made a significant contribution to Saskatoon's neighborhoods, as well as its downtown. Through sculptures, plaques, monuments and murals, neighborhood spaces have been transformed into focal points for community gatherings or into spaces for quiet contemplation. 2014 marked the 20th anniversary of the City of Saskatoon's Placemaker Program. The City wishes to celebrate, to catalog, to document, to animate, and to interpret the program's history and the 66 works of art that have been commissioned for and exhibited in the city as placemakers.